Do you feel unsafe when you travel out by yourself? Are you afraid of being attacked? In this video, I'm going to share three tips with you to help you be more safe and secure when you move about. Hi, I'm Joel Riles, multi-war veteran and protection dog trainer, and I've spent the last 20 years of my life teaching people just like you how to protect themselves and their families so that they can feel safe and secure. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get access to our weekly training videos. Give this a like and share this video with a friend you think would benefit from it. So let's get started. Tip number one, be aware of your surroundings. At the beginning of this video, you saw exactly what could happen if you're not paying attention to what's going on around you. So when you're moving in any place that's potentially dangerous, put down your phone, take out your earbuds and be aware of what's going on in your immediate vicinity. When a predator is looking for prey, they're looking for somebody who is an easy target, someone who's not paying attention to what's going on around them so that they can sneak up on them and then attack them in some form or another. So if you're one of the people that are looking around, that are making eye contact with people who are nearby, who are engaging with them, then they're gonna realize you're a lot more aware than they're comfortable with and they're gonna look for another target. So do yourself a favor, start being aware of your surroundings. Tip number two, show confidence and make eye contact. When Ted Bundy was asked who he would target when he was trying to attack people, he would say that if somebody would engage with him or make eye contact with him, he would move on to another target. Why is this? Because predators are looking for easy prey. They want somebody who's not going to fight. They want somebody who doesn't have a lot of confidence. If you walk like you know where you're going and you know what you're doing, you make eye contact with people that you see around that generally will tell somebody that you're not somebody they want to mess with. A lot of times what will happen is you'll see someone who's watching people, especially uh, it's not uncommon to see a guy watching women as they're walking back and forth. Now maybe this guy just likes watching women, but maybe he's a predator. And if he is, when he looks your direction, you don't have to stare for a long time. You definitely don't want to look with a smile and a nod or anything like that. But when he sees you, when you make eye contact, hold it for about a second to a second and a half. Just something like this and then look away and continue on in the direction that you're going. What that tells the predator is that you're aware that he is there and predators don't like that. They want to be in the background. They want to be somebody who is not recognized by anybody. So when you make eye contact with them, it shows number one, that you're aware of their sur your surroundings. It shows that you have confidence and it lets them know that you know they're there. Tip number three, have a show of force. In the security industry, there's a concept known as show of force. And essentially what it's doing is it's showing a potential attacker that you have the capability of defending yourself. So depending on the situation, you may want to show a higher level of show of force or a lower level. But here are three ideas that you can use when you're deciding how to express a show of force. But first, what tips do you have for being more safe? In the comments below, type in, I am not a victim, and share your tips and tricks with us so that we can all benefit. Show of force tip number one, dress for success. When they asked people who had attacked police officers, either during traffic stops or when they were engaging with them being questioned, the number one thing that criminals said they looked for when deciding whether or not they would be able to successfully defeat this police officer was how did his uniform look? Were his shoes polished and everything in place or did he look like a soup sandwich? If you walk around looking like you don't care about yourself, people will think that your confidence level is low this put, puts you in the category of being a potential victim. If you dress for success in whatever your category is, right? It doesn't have to be a suit. I don't ever wear suits. But you dress the part that you're looking to play and it tells people you have confidence, you know what you're doing, you're not going to be a victim, then move on. Show force tip number two, walk the walk. Have you ever seen somebody walking through a parking lot and they, they're just kind of wandering aimlessly? They don't really look like they know what they're doing there. Uh, they look a little confused. Maybe they're calling to ask somebody what, what it is they're supposed to do. All of these things, you want some love and ratchet? All of these things are indicators that you are not a confident person. 
Remember, your show of force, part of that is confidence because somebody who's not confident is not going to be willing to engage if somebody tries to attack them. If you're confident, the chances that you will engage, even if you don't know what you're doing, means that a predator is going to try and look somewhere else. So when you're going places, know where you're going to go, go with a purpose, focus on your task at hand, be aware of your surroundings, and don't forget your eye contact. Show of force tip number three, show your guns. No, not these guns, and not these guns either. What I'm referring to here is make sure that people know if they mess with you, they're gonna get hurt. Now there's multiple ways to do this. Of course, at Fortress Canine, we sell protection dogs. You move with a protection dog, generally people don't wanna be near you. But there's a lot of other ways that you can show your guns as well. You can actually, if you're in a state where there's open carry and you want to carry a firearm, you can carry your firearm open. You can also do it by being semi-fit, right? You don't have to be a, a stellar athlete or anything like that, but if you're semi-fit, somebody's gonna look at you and say, I don't necessarily wanna mess with that person, they could probably hold their own. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but just expressing that you have the ability to defend yourself is a great way to show people that they don't wanna mess with you. Another little tip you can do is to wear a shirt that states that you've had some kind of self-defense training, either firearms training or hand-to-hand -hand type defensive training. Things like that will show people, hey, they are into this lifestyle. I probably don't want to mess with them. So if you like this video, don't forget to click the like below. Also, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so that you get notifications whenever we post a new video. We post weekly self-defense and training videos to help bring awareness and to make your life more safe and secure. Also, please share this video with someone you think would benefit from it. If you like this video, there's lots more on my other social media platforms as well. You can follow me on Facebook at Fortress Canine Dogs or on Instagram at Fortress Canine. We have a great audience and I would love to answer your questions and interact with you more. Until next time, this is Joel Riles with Fortress Canine and the Canine Academy Online. You can find out more about my companies by clicking on the links below in the description and don't forget to be safe out there. Look at you two, being so handsome. <laughs>